Hi everyone, Mr. Oliver here again from the James Prendergast Library. And if you guys watched our video last week when we did the magnetic marble run demonstration on the board behind me, you remember that we were talking about Sir Isaac Newton and his laws of motion and how that relates to our everyday life. This object in front of me is a chain reaction waiting to happen. So what would happen is this ball would go down this ramp it will hit this part right here, which will cause a hammer to hit the ball moving it forward, up this ramp, hit this part, and then the ball would cause it to, or that, sorry, the hammer here would cause it to go into this goal. And so there's a couple different things going on with this. First of all, as the ball is moving down this ramp here, because it's angled downwards, the ball is actually caught picking up velocity, picking up speed. And then, but as it goes over here, it has to go up a ramp. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever ridden in roller coasters or anything like that, but when you go up the roller coaster, you always go really slow and then you go down really quick when you hit the down ramp. And that's because the down part allows you to pick up more speed. So the same thing here. When it has to go up this ramp, this hammer will actually cause it to move faster and able to go through here. So this is actually really cool because this is an example of some of the things that we have in the real world. Um, when you guys think about electricity, you may not know this, but usually what it comes from, or one of the things it comes from, is water power, steam power. And what it does, what we've done, is we build these giant dams at certain points in some really big strong rivers and by building the dam there we have corralled the water and allowed it to move through really small spots at really fast speeds and they spin turbines they don't look quite like this but they're kind of similar and so this moves like this and the more you move it get it right the faster you can go and the faster it goes the more power the more speed that it generates the more power it creates so this is kind of a very simplified version of some of the way we make electricity so let's go ahead and try this out this is actually kind of fun so I got to make sure that the weights the hammers are both facing pointing up that is so the ball is going to start here, and let's see what happens. And do you see that when it got right here, it stopped until, I'm going to put it here so we can kind of, oh, sorry, put it there. So it hits that, and then boom. So you guys should kind of see that again, that equal and opposite reactions. So let's try changing this out though for this fan that I showed you guys. We're gonna set it up the same way again. Just make sure everything is nice and tight. We don't want any outside issues happening. We're gonna try it again. And so watch when the ball hits the hammers. And did you see that when the ball went here and it hit this, it didn't keep going straight. It actually started going that direction. So that's actually one of those cool things. So instead of just moving forward, it hits here and it actually bounces off. But because this is moving, the angle that it was bouncing off on changes. That's kind of part of the reason why, if you ever thought about flying, when the plane changes the angle, it actually starts making a turn. So it's not like in a car, it's kind of like in a car when you change the direction of the wheels, you can actually turn. So a lot of cool stuff and some of it you guys will start covering as you get older and you get into high school, but some really cool things that have actual, sorry, not actual, lots of really cool things that have some really cool practical everyday value for you. Alrighty guys, until next week on Tuesday, 
Until next week on Tuesday at 2, have a good day.